Hey gang, Zippo, another quick video. I had uh, some people asking me, how do you wire up these lights? Well, if you take a look, this light has, uh, does not self ground, it has a grounding wire and a positive wire coming out. So I took a ground, whoop, yep, took a grounding wire and just put a uh, connector on it, cleaned the paint off underneath so I can get a good ground on the hood mounted my ground wire my positive wire which is kind of sneaking in the back there you see right there where my fingers at is actually going through the center of the bolt you can take any standard bolt drill a hole through it run your wire through it very easy very simple way to uh, mount your uh, lights on the front of these old flip hoods now I'm going to flip the hood up for you guys, maybe, if I can do it in one handed, yay. Alright, now, you do have to have enough slack in your wire, so that when you lay your hood down, you've got slack in the wire, but not so much slack that when you pull it back, the wire has the possibility of running into your starter generator belt, or getting into any moving parts or resting on hot parts okay so and also where does it connect on the newer regulators which a lot of us have had to go to because of our old big three legs going bad uh, typically your left all the way to the left on these newer regulators is your load and the load is where you would connect your starter solenoid if you were running a standard key switch um, and it would also be obviously where you would run your lights to. Now, I also have a rear light on this tractor. You see my switch down here and there's my rear light right there. Um, in wiring those, that's a little trickier and if I can get, I don't think I can get the blade up. Um, hang on just a second. I gotta do a little bit of moving around got to move the old landlord back just a little bit so I can lift the blade oh and also if you'll watch, watch the amp meter uh, goes back to zero shows you the amp draws we're drawing maybe two amps at the, at the most on each light uh, so they really don't use a whole lot All right. The reason I had to lift the blade up, if I don't, I'll whack my light on my stinger weight. So, and I still got to lay it down easy because it'll still make contact with it. All right, now, see here, I've got an insulated boot. This wire is running directly out of the bottom bolt of the light, just like on the front light. You can see, I've just got it running forward, coming forward, going through my shift quadrant tunnel here. I still got the tripod attached to this, it's making it a little difficult to show you. Okay, here we go. Uh, the wire goes in, and I've actually got this, I've got it uh, clipped right here so it's secure. And on the, uh, I've got a wire tie holding it so it's out of the way of the pulleys, not going to run into any problems there. And then the switch is really low, but on these flip hoods, you can get your hands in here. And you can see right here, that's the same wire that is my light that's the wire from my light and I have that connected to that's hard to see in there but uh, I have it running back up and I have it connected to the plus side of my amp gauge um, so that it gets power coming uh, directly through the regulator so there you go both lights are running through the regulator some people will run them directly to the battery you can go ahead and do that uh, I just don't practice that. I'd like the regulator to make sure that I'm not overloading the electrical system. So, there you have it. There's a quick little how-to on uh, adding lights to your tractor. Um, it's essentially the same on... There, we're focusing. Essentially the same principle on the 64 Landlord and B1. Excuse me, and B10 because they do not have an access plug hole in the dash for the light switch. When you get into the later models, the big 10s, the new B10, B12s, they have a little knockout uh, up in the upper part 
of the dash up in here that you can knock out and you just put a toggle switch in that's where you hook your lights to uh, 64 and prior let's see let's just kind of zoom in here you see that light right there it's on a regular light bar and there's a switch in the light housing that's the way the lights came in 1964 and prior they had a light switch on the light bezel itself so you didn't have to run light switches to the dash but uh, this one the light switch for the old simplicity is right here and that turns all three on both front and the back um, I think that's pretty much it as far as lights go I did a light uh, modification on how to put uh, 12 volt halogens in these old light buckets because the original lights are getting kind of scarce but um, that pretty well covers the light end of it uh, if you guys have any kind of questions or if I wasn't real clear you couldn't see things uh, well enough just give me a holler and I'll see what I can do. A Zippo. Later. I'm out.